In this video, we're talking about snake and funnel web spider bites. Now, there are quite a few venomous snakes in Australia, and rather than identifying them and considering yourself whether they're poisonous or not, just presume that it's poisonous and you need to get urgent medical attention. And the same applies for a funnel web spider. So, what do you do? If your child is bitten by a snake or a funnel web spider, you need to apply a pressure bandage and you need to keep them calm and still. And that is easier said than done. If your child has been bitten by a snake or funnel web spider, they're most likely to be hysterical. So, keep them calm. If we can keep them calm, lowers their heart rate and slows the flow of venom. Now, another important thing, of course, is not to apply a tourniquet. A tourniquet was a tight band around the arm or the leg or whatever was bitten to cut off the circulation. We know that venom doesn't actually travel through the blood. Initially, it travels through the lymph. So we need to put a pressure bandage on. A pressure bandage compresses the limb to slow the flow of venom through the lymph. So how do you do this? You need a pressure bandage or at the time, whatever you have, use clothing, use whatever you have in your first aid kit in your car. At the end of the day, it's just about applying pressure over the limb. Now, we're not cutting the circulation off. It just needs to be about the same firmness as for how you would strap a sprained ankle. We're going to keep them laying down and calm and avoid moving them as much as possible. We are going to bandage just below the bite site, keeping the toes exposed if it is the leg or the fingers exposed if it's an arm and wrapping over the top of clothing. Don't worry about taking the clothing off. Overlapping the bandage a half each time all the way to the top of the limb. Firm enough so that you can just get one finger underneath the bandage. So all the way from the toes, all the way to the top of the hip. Once we've got the pressure bandage on, we need to immobilize the limb. We need to stop it from moving around. So if you do have something like a newspaper, a magazine, or a book, something like that, that you are able, oh, sorry, a kid's book, then absolutely you can use that. But out in the bush where you're more likely to have been bitten by something, it may be something as simple as some sticks or branches, some wood. You can actually bind the leg to make sure that the joints don't move to keep it nice and straight and still. You need to seek urgent medical attention. If you can, try to avoid moving the person who's been bitten. Get help to come to you, call an ambulance, and most importantly, they become unconscious, you're going through doctors ABC. Good, effective compressions if they need it, will help to save somebody's life if they've been bitten. Another important thing to do is where they've been bitten, don't cut the area. Don't wash it with anything. Don't try and suck the venom out. Because when you get medical help, they may want to swab that area for a venom detection kit so that they can see what type of funnel web or snake has bitten the person. So the principles of what we've done, keep them safe and calm, lay them down and keep them still, a pressure bandage all the way from the toes to the top of the hip or all the way from the fingers to the top of the arm, splint the leg or 
the arm to the body to keep it still and to stop it from moving. Get urgent medical attention and doctors ABC if they need it.